Hi guys, Karen here, out in the garden today, and I'm going to <clears throat> show you what we've been doing with our tomatoes. Um, so, just came back from a walk. So, um, our tomatoes last year uh, fell prey to aphids and um, <clears throat> all sorts of little mites and things. So this year, I was going to try something a little bit different. Um, so what I've been doing is pruning back our tomato plants. Um, we have this year about 27 to 30 tomato plants because I just wanted a lot of tomatoes. And last year, um, I put them, the vast majority of them in one box, but this year I decided to place them all over. So I'm going to show you how they've been doing this season. So back over here, we have some tomato plants that were not thriving initially but as you can see I put little stakes because I did not think that they were going to survive but they did and um, <clears throat> this one I have not cut back the leaves in order to avoid because aphids already came the aphids are here however uh, due to some companion planting and just grace and mercy um they have not affected everything also what i've done is as you can see here i cut back a lot of the leaves um it rained last night it rained yesterday the vast majority of the day so everything's all nice and wet but um yeah so i cut it back so I could actually see the tomatoes and I was looking online uh, on Instagram and there's a lady that I follow there and oh my goodness oh look at the um, look at what the um, beetles have done over here to my cat the, to the collard greens um, I'm just gonna have to pull those out anyway but I left them there purposely because I didn't want them uh, the Japanese beetles and whatever else is over there to eat all of my other things I can see slugs from here I can see everything um, so I have to rip that out um, but this is one two over here actually I think is one two three together tomato plants so this is that over here and this bed once again I did some companion planting so we have okra in this bed we have some peppers basil and we have tomato plants now as you can see the okra has gotten bigger um yeah after the rain every time it rains it just gets taller but the tomatoes have had to stretch for sunlight and this one must have bent last night yeah it did and uh during the rain and so i'm just gonna leave this one like this um because it'll probably get more sunlight this way um and then there's a tomato plant there there was one here but um it gave four tomatoes and then it wasn't doing so well so i just pulled it um, so there's three tomato plants in here. So now we're up to, oh my goodness, five. Yeah, no, six. Um, <clears throat> here I had to do a lot of pruning. Um, and they are producing tomatoes at a crazy rate. We get tomatoes every day. So I generally just take what I need and leave the rest. Um, but I did do a lot of pruning, as you can see here in... Uh, this area because they needed to get sun and it just looked like a forest inside of here and um, they were not ripening um, they weren't ripening as quickly as they could if they weren't so covered so I just removed all of that um, <clears throat> and they extend all the way over there oh and I have some and it took some okra plants with it okay Oh no, that's a tomato plant. Ouch. Okay. Yeah, so these are tomatoes over here as well. Going down the side. They are everywhere. And next year, I'm going to have to really pay attention to determinate versus indeterminate. Because I picked up a lot of indeterminate and they are just gone wild. Um, yeah, so I need to come out and pick tomatoes too. Um, then in this bed... I don't think I have any tomatoes in here. Oh, I tell a lie. I do have tomatoes right here, but um, yeah, and it has one down there at the bottom, if you can see that. 
Um, but other than that, this is filled with dahlias uh, right here. Right here, and these dahlias are staked in the center. Um, so yeah. But anyway, tomatoes. So there was a, you can see a lot of pruning over here. Because beforehand, you wouldn't have been able to see these tomatoes. Um, and it was blocking my ability to get inside the food forest. So we have tomato plants. Sorry, there's a bug on me. Hi, yeah, yeah. Okay, so there was tomato. There's tomato plants here, here. Um, we have two in here, and then we have four, actually, like six or seven back there. Um, and I had to cut those back too because I couldn't see. And then it was running into the um, zinnia back there. And we have about four right here in the center. Um, one right here all across this side here and so what I did what I would suggest to anybody who's a new gardener is cut your leaves back not all of them because you need the leaves to create photosynthesis however you you don't want that before you actually get to your fruit that the tomato I mean the aphids you can see them right there start taking over but see this is doable uh, these these are doable you can just hit this with this diatomaceous earth and um, clear this up rather quickly as opposed to a whole plant that is covered in leaves and now you have to break that back in order to get inside of it so yeah I'm not a professional I've only been doing this this is going on year three but I've learned a lot in terms of losing a whole lot um, yeah I think I think you become better because you um, you mess up a whole lot or stuff dies <laughs> anyway um, see there's some more tomatoes there and here and over there and there's some down in there but uh, yeah that's what oh, see the, that's the Japanese beetle if you don't know what that looks like I can't stand them um, there we go anyway we just tear up stuff oh last but not least I'm gonna give you a eggplant update anybody know when you're supposed to pick these we have quite a few now anyway guys I hope you found this video helpful let me know what you've been doing to keep your tomato plants healthy um, and oh by the way don't forget you can also transplant your basil and oregano as well been doing that a lot <laughs> transplanting my cuttings oh and then we have tomato plants back here. These weren't doing very well initially because of all the lilies that were in this box. But I just left them and they're producing something. So I just leave them be and let them do what they want to do. Oh, yeah. Anybody doing a fall garden? Uh, I'm going to share my plans with that in the next video. So I'll see you guys later. Happy gardening, guys. Bye.